Hey, what's up, you body? Juice Monster 88 here. Here I am to give you a vlog for before the end of the month of February, as you know. I know I haven't made videos in a month, though, because, you know, a lot of shit going on from left to right and everything else, though. And, uh, basically, you know, January's been the kind of slow month, and so the February, but February's been a good month for me because I went to two conventions this, uh, this month, though. But uh, the update for me, though, about the whole YouTube thing, in my opinion, yes, it sucks for everybody else to have to do the guidelines due to some controversy about stuff. Sometimes I'm going to tell you this way. Don't let the controversy fuck you over. Just try to do yourself best to get yourself better. That's how I look at it. Just get better yourself. That's how I'm going to say that for a fact of it. I know I haven't made videos in a while. I'm supposed to do other things. I've been caught up to a lot of bull crap and everything else. Like everyday life people. Because, you know, if you're a small YouTuber or do all this stuff, you're not going to do all the videos all the time. You take your time with your uh, content. Like, uh... Some of the people like me and everybody else, small YouTubers, don't give up hope on you guys. Just keep on forward and keep pushing it and do something better than the other content you ever did. That's what I'm going to say to you guys out there. For any small YouTubers out here, don't give up hope. Just because it makes you challenging, just keep pushing forward. Press on, no matter the fuck happens to you. I don't care what anybody tells you. I don't care if I had to make videos. I had to take my time making videos because I'm a one-man crew for doing this shit. But that's what I'm going to say for you today. But um, I'm not going to end this like this way, though. I'm going to talk about the two experiences I had, um, I went to this month. And as the uh, first, um, I think it's on February 10th, I think, I went to Astromacon, though. And it was a great condo. And I had a lot of fun in there. I met some, a lot of people there as well. And then two weeks later of that place, I went to Great Lakes Comic Con. It was in, at the uh, Macomb Community College, though. And it was a lot of fun time as well. Matter of fact, these two conventions are really fun to go to, to me. And I will definitely go this again next year, though. As same as this, I always go this every five years. Um, so far, of it, for me personally, I had a lot of fun to go to the conventions like those, though. That's just, uh, sorry, excuse me why I had to do that, though. <clears throat> anyway, uh, for me, I had Astrom Astromicon, whatever they called it. I went there, I had a little fun, and um, I met some great names like Booker T. I finally met Booker T, one of my top five favorite African American wrestlers of all time. And I met Eric Bischoff, which is an honor. I met the guy who played on Clerks, who played Dante Hicks. I forgot his name, though. Jason Muse came a little late. It was a long line to meet him, but I did not tell um, you know, I let his fans have them because you, you can't just wait on line. There's a lot of things you can do, though. And I met uh, Scott Hall, I met Kevin Nash, I met The Godfather. And I met uh, a lot of YouTubers with that there too, like the Game Chasers, Hit Pixel Dan, which I have a great, great conversation because um, one of my idols on YouTube was not there that day, which I sadly, you know, could due to the weather though, which is suck balls because I always want to beat him. But that did not destroy everything for me because I hope he'll come next year though, because the Angry Video Game Nerd will come out soon. I hope he will come in here. Take, I forgive you for not being there because I don't blame you. The weather will suck though. So, nerd, I forgive you. So, I will I'll see you next time anyway. So, I move on from that. Uh, the pictures, though, I did took a bit. And it was really awesome to me. I had some a lot of fun times in there. And um, I'll show you the pickups later on right here. Because um, there's a lot of things I'm going to talk about. Um, Astromicon was a fun thing. I had fun with it. See some guys who playing battle each other in the uh, gaming room a little bit. I saw a little bit of Dragon Ball Fire versus C. Which is cool, and I seen a bit, but I didn't play it though, because everybody was crowded up to play it already. Um, bought some comic books from there and everything else, and uh, have fun of it, and that's all. And the next convention I go to is uh, uh, Great Lakes Comic Con. To tell you the truth, though, I went to those conventions because they had some old faces I know. I've been there for like five years at local conventions, and we were like a big family in there. It was really cool though. Comics Beer Sci Fi was there on Great Lakes Comic Con, so there's a little one crew on. on um, uh, Astromicon, I forgot what it is. I'm sorry if I got that wrong though. Um, it was the greatest time though. It was just like it was so much fun. I meet some other people in there who was in, had the same interests as there. And I met the Detroit version of Ghostbusters. They guys are great in there. And it had like the Star Wars thing, Great Lakes Comic Con, all that stuff. And also, update for me for the content though. I'm working on this content idea. You remember two years ago where I talk about a CAW show? Well, I'm confirming the other one I'm doing, though. The one I confirmed two years ago, I still work on that one. It's not the one I'm talking about. But the new idea I had, though, I work on the works, 
it's gonna be a little controversial. Let's talk about the things that's kind of happening right now, though. But it's not to offend you, but I'm gonna um, work on it as best I can. It may come out somewhere in March, though. I want to hit it on March, though, before WrestleMania. So um, let's just say it starts with a C and it ends with a D versus I to the L. That's what I'm gonna say to you. You can fill the blanks. Right here, I got the uh, comments right here from local conventions. You know, I really support them. This one's from the group right here of the comic books I got from Sorf, of uh, the thing called Source Force Press. It's Source Port Source Port Press, which is a really good company in Michigan. Uh, there's other good companies out there in Michigan as well. The this first comic book I got from, I'm a big fan of her, and she actually was a really sweet one called Kerosene Priest of the thing called uh, Nara. I have one and two in there. I bought them the last year convention. It was great though, and I read her two of her comic books, and uh, they're really decent. Though. She did a great job telling the story though. And the other one from them, this actually from the same guys who did it, is called The Rot. Something called The Rot though, because I did hear about it. he was selling it for like ten dollars to get all of them. It's pretty cool though to have the uh, comic books though. The Arcane Awakening looks pretty interesting. I just bought it from the guy doing Astromicon. I said, you know what? I decided to give a support of it and I decided to see it. Something new and different. Day 165, which is a soldier one I forgot about. And um, like I said before, Source Pours Press. And I got this guy who's on Relics Comic Con. And he was selling, and I, now I got this one. But I got this one for free, which is weird as hell right here. This right here, I forgot what it's called, but it looked interesting as hell. So I'm gonna give that a read a little bit soon. And the other one I have right here is um, these one I got from the brothers called um, Ozo Wilson, called Hydra 121. Very interesting. And uh, the door. And I see the guy who actually drawn on the on, on his tablet, the iPad thing. He did look very well done. So I decided to give him a shot to read the comic books. Rob Miller. He did a hell of a great job when it comes to effects of it. I looked at his portfolio and all the things, and this guy is him right there. It's him, for real. He did that by himself, because sometimes it's a crazy thing. If you can make up yourself and do while you're doing this stuff, you got one hell of a talent. That's what I'm saying. All right, now for the games. The other pickups. Right, first of all, the games I did pick up, though, before I had it, I went to GameStop and bought two games from there, and um, from three of, two of them are from the PS4. Another game is Tekken 7. I bought this year to say, you know what, it's time to get Tekken 7. So I very enjoyed it. But sometime my Tekken 6 is not working on the Xbox 360. So I decided to get this one though. The good thing is, this one's okay. The story is just not that not that great and didn't have a good conclusion. Just like other ones though. But it's still a fun game. Another game right here. Another day I just think, I just beat this game right here. Not this game right here, but the other game was a previous title. Remember I said in my pick up video I got Mafia? I just beat Mafia 2 and I got Mafia 3. And I, I played this game through it, it was a lot of fun. And I beat Mafia 2 though, it was great. I can see try people try to compare it to Mafia 2 to Mafia 3 though. Mafia 2 has a great story and great characters and a great story missions of it. That's what I'm gonna say. Well, this one right here may be the same thing, but it's kind of different from the other one Mafia 2 is. So I'm not gonna complain of that one, but it's fun to me though. Another one I got from conventions though, right here, Astromicon right here, is uh, I got another one, Dead Alive 5, the last round. It was 20 bucks in there. But there's a one pickup I do, I'm gonna show you later on one of the best one I picked up. Uh, Right here, another one I got for Grey Lakes Comic Con, Dark Souls, a really hard ass game. Now I have both Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1 on the Xbox 360, and Dark Souls 2 on 360, now I got Dark Souls 3. And now they're making Dark Souls remasters coming on the on PS4, Xbox One. Man, talk about remasters, they should remaster the games that's like past 10 years, not the games that's just past 5 years or so, I don't know. That's just pretty uh, redundant to me. I mean, you release a game that's five, and then next year, carry years later on, it's a remaster already. <laughs> We're really crazy. Now this game right here, I've been looking for this game right here. It is so crazy. GameStop's still in a high price. Um, this replay has still a solid and high price, but I got this one from um, 15 bucks. It's from this thing called Super Retro Land. It's from West Virginia and Ohio right here. But they came into the Green Lakes Comic Con, you know what, it's pretty cool, they came by, got some games, I was like, you know what, I'm glad they got some games and they're selling. 
And the game right here, I've been searching for it, finding that guy in my head for 15 bucks. UFC 3 Undisputed. UFC 3 Undisputed. Uh, and finally, I have this one in my head. I know there's a UFC 3 out already, but this one right here is probably the really good one right here. But um, to me, I played it. Finally, it was still good. Better than the last one. Way better than the last one. I'm going to say that. And it's right here I have right here for a very cheap price for $6. It's a whack-ass, uh, you talk about Mafia 2 and 3 are great games, but I got the wackest Mafia game up here. I kind of curious, I remember there's a preview of it, and that game is Chicago Enforcer. This game is just like low down bad, but what do you expect from the game on the Xbox, though? Um, I played this one, and it was so ridiculous, it has no music, only your sound effects. And why if the models of the, the gangsters have little tank tops with little white tank tops that look like Joe Rogan? Why? They look like Joe Rogan. Those guys look like Joe Rogan. I don't know. Alright, the Genesis games. My nephew has a uh, Sega Genesis flashback. So, he has those 20 games in there, but I decided to buy some physical games in there for him and he could play on it. And some games I grew up in my childhood. So, let's just start with ones I did my first. At Traumacon, I got Dick Tracy, best version of, than the NES version. I like this version better than the NES version. I love this one. Uh, Mickey and Mac Global Glory Gladiators. <laughs> Talk about McDonald's game. I remember playing this one. It was fun as hell. Um, speaking of that one, I was having a hard time. I remember this game right here. While I was near the final boss of the game, I beat the game. I died, and it has no ending of it. Because I beat that final boss with that damn ice creature. And then nothing happened. I beat him. Nothing happened. No game on, no sign on, or anything else. It just continue on. That's how I remember I played this game. Uh, this right here is actually it's a sequel of it, but I got it right there. It's a fast pickup. And as Taz and Escape from Mars, this is actually a sequel of Tasmania. And this game is so freaking fun, though. The first one was hard. This one's kind of a little toned out a little bit, but it's fun though. But the first one's still hard to tell because it's a lot faster, a lot smooth, like just going crazy, like 60 frames per second. This was kind of slowed down a bit. The first game's like 60 frames per second, but the first game tone it down and make it like, uh, you know, but make it more fun and functional. And uh, last but not least, this is one I remember my brother, my dad and I used to play this game, and that is uh, James Butter Douglas Boxing. Holy crap, this game is so funny to play, though. I was now. And uh, I remember my brother and I used to play this one. It's really fun, though. I know this is a tear it up, though. I don't have it in box, though, because, you know, I was looking for the games of it. Now, for the best pickup I ever had. This game right here is one of the rarest games on the PS1. I found this game, and it was on the Stramacon, and I was so happy. I was shocked. His shell shock moment, I was like, I can't believe they got it. It was one of the rarest games on the PS1, and it's some copies of them, and I finally had this one. It's one of my top 20 favorite games I remember playing on the PlayStation 1. And that game is... Intelligent Cube. This right here is one of my favorite games I play on the PS1. It was one of the rarest games I ever played. And I ran it one time, and I liked it, and I never thought. First time I played this is on a demo disc, and that commercial though, though that commercial is so funny. I'm Amina Pia. I can't spell the rest of it in it, but the cue dropped on her. It was so funny. I said, "Thank you, really smart." But this game right here is so much fun. It's challenging, and it's 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 a fun game. It will test your your knowledge though. And I remember my line, my brother. Was I was a kid, what do you expect? The, how much I bought this game though? 40 bucks! At the, at the, um, this replay was doing the panel over there and they selling games over there and I finally got this one. It shocked me the system, I finally got this one. This is one of my favorite PS1 games ever. I mean, look at the prices of the game they're selling this! You think you can afford that? If you find any game for stores or any like um, pawn shots or anything, 
go search me you find rares game, you'd be surprised at the price they're selling it. And I got this one right here. I'm so happy I got this one. If I could get my PS2 working and play this one, I will definitely enjoy it. So that's my update for me for February though for me and uh, I was supposed to do this video a long time ago but I keep knocking out because I was so busy doing all this stuff around here and I knocked out and everything else. Me personally, the content I'm working on right now is kind of a little controversial but I'm going to uh, work on it as slow by slow and uh, try to work as best as I can. So this is it for me. This is Juice Monster 88 here. Say thank you for watching and also I want to dedicate shout outs and thank you to people who went to Great Lakes Comic Con and the Strama Con. Oh, uh, wait, no, no. Uh, basically thanking the people who go on this one and uh, Great Lakes Comic Con as well and I had a lot of fun with them and had a lot of fun meet these people you know all the stuff in there it's a great time to have fun with there so that's about it for me that's my vlog for here today Juice Monster AH signing out and you had a good day